Hi, my name is Aaron, and I'm an innovator at Advanced Spatial Design Inc. And today we're going to do two demo apps for surveying. So I was at a festival a couple of weeks ago, and there was somebody from the group that organized the festival walking around asking people what they thought about the festival. Now in his hand he had a clipboard with 50 empty survey sheets, and as he was going around he would ask people and he would fill in the forms and whatnot. And I think at most there was about eight questions for one piece of paper. And I saw him throughout the day, and as he was filling sheets out, he was flipping them over, and he was holding them in different ways. And soon enough, he just looked like a mess, because he had all these pieces of paper, and they were getting sweaty because it was nice outside. And I just thought to myself, I could build you an app for that. So the two apps that we're going to demo today are based around integrating information or different data types into one of our iPad apps. The first app is going to revolve around integrating physical media. So existing pictures and books, you can load them right up into the iPad. And the second one's about pulling information from an existing data source and loading it up into an iPad so that the people actually doing the survey can. So this first app is based on a pregnancy exit interview. Now, you must be wondering, why pregnancy exit interviews? Well, we actually got our hands on an actual pregnancy intercept interview, and so we thought, hey, might as well make a demo from it. So these interviews usually occur with two people in front of a desk with all the different types of material in front of them. Now with the app you can take all that material that's on that desk, load them into the iPad, and instead of having one person talk to the interviewee and one person writing down all the information, you can actually have two people going out doing two separate interviews at two different locations. So this just reduces the amount of time that it requires to actually perform all the surveys that you need saves you time and money because you don't have to lug around a box and a desk to set up this interview and ultimately you can collect all that information on the iPad in a very secure and normalized manner. So here is a quick demo of the app that we built on the iPad. So with the exit interview you can have a first page that just has some generic information about why you're doing this interview. And so the first page with the old style of interview, you would actually have to physically give that inter interviewee a book. And all you're interested in telling them or asking, having them to answer a question on is the title of the book. And so you're giving them an actual book. Um, so there's, you know, hundreds of pages that aren't relevant to your questionnaire. So why not just use the first page? And so we can load in that page right into the app and they can zoom in and zoom out. There's two questions on this layout and we don't show it here, but we can control the flow of the question. So if question one's being answered, question two can be grayed out. And again, there little interaction. You don't need to have another person copying down whatever that person's saying. They can fill it in themselves or um, whatnot. Second page, and I'm not going to go through all the pages here. It just illustrates the amount of information that you can pack right into the iPad. All these, the four questions here, all had physical cards that they had to um, carry along. The interviewers did anyways. And so by loading them all into the iPad, you can still zoom in and take a look at what um, they're asking for, but you don't need to carry it around with you. So you don't, you, have, you don't have to worry about losing any of the cards that you need to use for your interview. They're all in this iPad app. The layout of the apps can also be changed depending on who's using it and if something is or if something works better in a certain uh, mode. This is just the first two questions from the last page. Again, this last page just quickly shows to you the different kinds of media. Again, you would have to carry all these pictures around with you, with you if you didn't have the iPad app. Which one would you like, A or B? A or B, kind of like an eye doctor's place. But with this kind of app, they just took take a look at it. They go to the question, okay, A, B, and then they choose their answer. I choose B. Right. So that's a very quick um, overview of an app that integrates a lot of different types of media into it. So the second app that we're going to demo is based on a political campaign where somebody has to go door to door and talk to the different residents in each house. So this information for this app came from a different source. For this case, it came from an Excel spreadsheet. In this case, Excel's not very good for organizing this information because for every address, there may be many, many residents. And so in Excel, 
to communicate that properly, well, you've got that residence address showing up as many times as there are residents. And so you don't want your surveyor to be going up to the door and trying to go through your Excel spreadsheet, try to sift through all the duplicates. You just want them to go there, ask the questions, connect with the uh, residents, and then go on to the next house. So in this demo app, we're going to show to you how we can connect that information with your end users so it makes this entire process much smoother. So as I mentioned before, this app is just based on an Excel spreadsheet that has a list of residents and addresses. Now I don't use any real resident names or um, the addresses are real. I'm in Calgary, so these are all um, businesses by my house. And so at the top here, we can have a list of all the houses that um, a campaigner has to go to. And so there's a list of them. And by clicking on the arrow, you bring up where the house is supposed to be and all the residents that are living at that location. And so this is an easier way of going through your information instead of having to scroll through an Excel spreadsheet or trying to find the right name. We can add some graphical controls. And so they fill it in where that we are undecided. We're generally left or center. And we'll save it. And so before we entered into that part of the survey, it was a X. And so we come back out and now it's a check mark. And so that's just a graphical way to show to a campaigner who, um, which residents haven't answered the questionnaire. Like in this household, there's five people and none of them have answered the questionnaire. I think in this last one, there's two people haven't answered it. One person has. And so this is a really graphical way to control how um, your campaigners um, track their progress. And all this information can be tied um, locally onto the iPad or it could be tied into our databases. And so you almost get real-time updates depending on um, the configurations that you use. So. so to summarize these two demos, we just really wanted to show to you how easy it is to take an interview based on physical media and loading it into the iPad as well as taking existing value lists and data repositories and Excel sheets and putting it onto an iPad. So in the end, what does this mean to the interviewers? Well, they collect their data more efficiently and quicker. They're able to communicate what they need to the interviewees in a better manner. And ultimately, they're collecting information or data that is uniform so that they can use it in post-processing to do analysis against. And that's very important. So if there are any other apps or demos that you want us to do, Leave it in the comments below and we'll see what we can do. Anyways, see you later. Advanced Spatial Design Inc. Information. Seen differently.